If you lose something and don't find it within a couple of months, chances are it's really gone for good. Oh yeah, but a West Virginia woman was recently reunited with an item that she lost, get this, more than 50 years ago. Galen Markham has the story. For many, a truly lost wallet is gone forever. Finding it is a lost cause. Sharon Day was 16 years old when she lost her wallet in 1968. She was a student at Fayetteville High School. This is Joyce. We were friends in school. And believes she lost her wallet at a school dance. Long ago, Day resigned herself to the fact that she would never see it again. Events leading to her reunion with her wallet started when the old high school closed in 2019. A local contracting company started work to transform it into new apartments. That work uncovered Day's billfold. Bradley Scott owns the company doing the renovation work. This is the duct work that we were breaking loose when it fell out. And you can actually still see there's, there's an old shoe in there uh, there's some other things. And that's not all. There were some old uh, admission tickets to a boxing match and some other things that, that all fell out of there when we, when we broke that loose and opened it up for the first time in 100 years. And Day's wallet was there, lying in the menagerie of long forgotten items, stuck in the duct like a time capsule. When we found that wallet, there was something that was just instantaneously very different about it. Like this is something that we can identify as the personal property of someone that might very well still live in this area. And with all the wallet photos and uh, names on the back of wallet photos with a social security card, and it was like, well, I, I think we can actually find this person. So Scott went on Facebook to try to track down the wallet's owner. My sister told me that I was on there and I said, why? I said, they found something for you. So it was really, uh, I just, I didn't ever think, you know, about having something like that 54 years from when I had it. As Day combed through her wallet, she says she started remembering things about her life she'd forgotten. I was excited because, you know, I knew that were things that was mine, that belonged to me, and I liked my pictures of the people that I went to school with and friends. <laughs> it's it's something I never thought I would ever see <laughs> or know what was going on about it. <laughs> to make you feel like you're in high school again. Yeah. <laughs> but was there any cash? <laughs> I'm kidding. Did Inflation. You it, there was, you know, it was a lot of money back then. It really looked like, too, that it was almost more of a photo album than it yeah. was a wallet. It was yeah. a ton of pictures. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. And by the way, I had somebody return a wallet to me one time that had been lost. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. There's, there's a special person that, out there that finds something like that and goes to all the effort to find its owner. So kudos relief. to him. <laughs>